St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York is a spiritual force to be reckoned with, smack dab across the street from Rockefeller Center, which is a tourist hot spot, very busy, and right on Fifth Avenue in the middle of the chase for luxury, power, and materialism. I got an exclusive tour of St. Patrick's Cathedral with a seminarian who will become a priest in three years, Eric Wandry. It's called a cathedral because the cathedra, or the the Archbishop's throne is located here in this church. It's dedicated to St. Patrick, who is the patron of the Archdiocese of New York. And I asked him, so tell me more about this throne that Cardinal Dolan has. The architecture of the throne is very impressive and beautiful because it's drawing our attention to this important place, mm -hmm. this place where uh, the Cardinal Archbishop of New York teaches his people. These cardinals were actually lords who commanded armies and lands. They were lords of certain parts of Europe. Um, some of them commanded armies. They had these coats of arms uh, to represent their authority. Okay. So, so that tradition has continued to this day. So then we moved right in front of the entrance to the church. When you look through the doors, what you see is this huge sculpture of Atlas, which is basically a sculpture of man holding the earth. And he's talked about how that's all about rejecting God, rejecting spirituality, and man being like, I can do this myself. I got it. Atlas is a celebration of defiance, a celebration of rebelling against divine power. So he talked about how within the cathedral church, Christians can feel you know, their faith, feel relaxed, but you only get a short reprieve because you step outside and you're back into the chase of power, luxury, you know, the grind of everyday life in New York City. We can prepare ourselves for going back out into the city of man where everything is about achievement, glory, success, winning, getting ahead. And quickly. Quickly, right. When you walk out these doors, there's lots of noise, there's lots of confusion, there's lots of pressure. But when you're in here, um, and you're in this beautiful building where everything leads your eyes upwards, you can think about God. Then I asked Eric if we could take one more stop on our tour because I heard the rumor that cardinals are buried underneath the church. Uh, yes, yes. All of, really? Yes, all of the archbishops of New York since Archbishop Hughes are um, in the crypt beneath the altar. Wow, can we go take a look? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> Probably not? Probably not. Okay. For a Catholic, that's an important place. You know, if you go and you see that it's so massive and interesting for you, how was it walking through there? You look up and you look at all the architecture, you look at all the paintings, the saints and everything, and it's really about making you feel like you're a part of something else. That's a great story. Awesome.